Welcome to another episode of Tea Talk. We are switching roles for once today, and we have our founder, Sonia Tan, speaking with us today. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So I'm going to go back behind the camera for physical distancing reasons. I hear you're going to talk to us today about one of your favorite stone medicine tools. Yes. One of my favorite tools is my jade roller. It's right by my nightstand. I use this every night. The jade roller actually has a long history of use in China. Jade's use goes back to the Neolithic period, but the jade roller has been used for centuries, I would say maybe even thousands of years, by the elite to promote good facial skin health by promoting circulation and reducing any puffiness and inflammation. So jade itself, and in terms of stone medicine, is one of the toughest stones out there. It has to be formed very, very deep in the earth creating a lot of pressure or a lot of pressure needs to be created in order for jade to form. So it also represents this refinement or transformation process, uh, quietude uh, that comes about when you need to create this toughness and to create this peace and perfection mm -hmm. of this perfect stone. So jade represents not just longevity because of its toughness, but it represents this quietude because it's cool and cool to the touch. True jade is cool to the touch and it's so tough it can scratch glass. So that's why jade has been used for centuries in Chinese culture. Now the jade roller is particularly used for the face because unlike a gua sha tool, this will not promote any petechiae on the face because gua sha tool if you use it with too much pressure it can promote petechiae which is drying up that cellular waste which you may want to do when you're using it on the body to break up scar tissue bringing up any waste out of the area but on the face you don't necessarily want petechiae but you want still the benefits of improved circulation and reducing any inflammation so when you use the roller it's not it's going to help you move it instead of putting too much pressure on the skin therefore preventing any petechiae from forming so you can get the benefit of cooling on the skin and rolling it over lymphatic tissue soft tissue to promote circulation in the area which can help cellular regeneration improving your com complexion and reducing any impurities that sounds amazing so how do you use it to soothe and improve the face I'll show you. Wonderful. I always like to start at the middle and work my way outward or up. The larger side is for use on the forehead, just like so, and as well on the cheeks, and as well on the chin. Oh, that feels so good. Now when I'm going along the jawline here on the jaw muscles, I like to roll back and forth over this acupoint at the corner of the jaw, stomach six because I tend to clench and grind, so this muscle gets tight, and that boy, does that feel good. Then I work my way upward, because so you want to lift the skin, upward here, and the same thing, I roll over the temple here, which is Taeyong, because that tends to get tight as two, with, tight too with clenching. Okay. The smaller side, you use around your eyes to help reduce puffiness around the eyes, okay? So you're gonna go underneath here, and you can even go on your eyelid gently. So this is the beauty of the ruler. You're not going to be putting too much pressure. You're going from middle to out. The last thing that I like to target is other areas for lymphatic drainage, so like the neck. So I start at the cervical lymph nodes here at the corner of the jaw. I nudge it and then I roll away down the neck towards the clavicle. I like to do the whole neck in order to feel balance, I'm nudging here again. This is literally the last thing I do before my head hits the pillow. After I've done my reading and I've turned off my light, the skin feels cool, it feels calm, my mind feels cool and calm, and I get a really good restful sleep. Great, I can't wait to try that. Any other final words? Yes, jade, like all stone medicine crystals and gemstones, they should be cleansed thoroughly and regularly because they do absorb pathology. Either rinse it in cool water for one minute. You can use a little bit of light soapy water to cleanse off any lotions that you might have on your skin. Or you can lie it on the windowsill in natural light, so from dusk to dawn, 
it'll absorb the moonlight and the sunlight, which will help cleanse it. So leave it on the windowsill from dusk to dawn is another method. If you also want added coolness to reduce puffiness and inflammation of the skin, you could keep it in the fridge and then take it out when you want to use it, but it's not necessary. Great, thanks so much for showing that to us. You're welcome. I know you can purchase amethyst or jade stone rollers here at our online shop at Red Tree Wellness. So try that at home and let us know how it goes. Cheers. Cheers.